Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so we're hopping into Season 1, Episode 4 of Dark, titled Double Lives. So I just got done editing, well, the first edit of Episode 2, and I I have to admit, I picked up on something I don't think I picked up on when I first watched the episode. Um, I know Episode 2 is a little bit more slower paced, and they were kind of giving us more and more information, but when I was editing Episode 2... I got to this one line where Jonas and his mom were talking, and he asked a, a specific question. Do you miss him? And I'm like, huh, okay, yeah, he's talking about his father. And I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't make the connection at first. I was like, wait, his father is Ulrich's brother. So she is sleeping with her dead husband's brother. Is that right? Am I getting that right? So I'm like, okay, that gives us a whole nother level to why I'm just not not connecting with her character, and I just don't feel any sympathy for her. She's just, mm, I don't know. I, I just, all right. So that, that's that. And episode two actually kind of gave us a lot of information. I know episode three was probably my favorite of the season so far. But when I did my first edit of episode 2, there was just a whole lot of information that I just probably missed the first time, or at least when I saw it, saw it again for the second time, like cutting stuff, kind of cutting it up, trying to get a YouTube edit going, but things started like connecting in my brain. And I was like, okay, 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 okay. So now I feel like I have a better understanding of what's going on or who's connected to who, what's connected to what. I'm I'm now way more intrigued going into this episode. Now I did not do, and I'm telling you, I've been taking notes for those who don't believe me. This is from episode one, and I have two, well it's front and back. When I do the edit, I take notes to make sure I pick up on some of the big plot points, make sure I don't get lost, or I can easily reference to what's going on. But yeah, so I have detailed notes on episodes one and two. I didn't do three yet, but I remember really liking three. So now, with a better painting in my head of what's going on with the first two foundation episodes, one and two, I'm now way more intrigued to start episode four, Double Lives. I know last episode, Mikkel is still stuck in the past, and like I said before, because uh, episode two is now fresh in my mind, I don't exactly remember all the details of episode three, but I hope we kind of get back into the story of, um, hopefully someone finds Eric's body. Um, we kind of figure out what's going on with his father. I know in episode two, they kind of, they revealed that he was hiding drugs or something that he and his son were selling to, to kids in school. And, well, let me actually look. Episode 2. Yeah, exactly. And and I think there's... Is there some re um, meaning behind the coin? It's called a one fennec coin. And on a red cord. Like, like that's fairly... That's, that's very specific. And not necessarily... Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just spitballing here. I'm just very intrigued on where everything's going, but I think feel like I've rambled on too too long as, for what it is. But I just wanted to just hop in and get started on episode four. So sorry for the rant, guys. Let's just hop in and do this. Barze Löcher gelten als die. Höllenschlunde des Universums mit den Dingen auch Raum und Zeit. Tick -tack. Tick -tack. Oh ja, yeah, I want to know what his deal is for sure. Kannst du die beiden da oben verarschen? Mit deinen runden Kulleraugen und deiner mitleidserregenden Taubstummnummer? Aber mich verarschst du nicht! Ich muss es ihm sagen. Das muss aufhören. Ja, 
Magna, das ist ein gewaltiger Unterschied. Mm, I like the daughter. She has a good uh, conscience. Good morals. If it's 33 years before something happens again, like you're technically safe, right? In theory. Can be any more obvious? Yes. Oh, that's cute. Zahlreiche Stellen, da verweist der Roman auf später stattfindende Ereignisse. Diese Flecken auf dem Gefieder habe ich schon mal gesehen. Ja, 33 years ago. Wow. Als wäre das alles schon mal passiert. Glitch in the Matrix. Hm. Almost got me. Wegen der roten Erde. Wir finden keine. Auch im näheren Umkreis der Fundstelle ist nirgendwo rote Erde. Die muss also vom Tatort stammen. Trying to remember who the guy with the eye patch is. Is he just unnamed guy for now? What's her name? I feel like I I know it, but I just don't recall. Who is this? Who is this? I feel like I should know, right? It's her husband. Wait. Why was he there? He's the, he's the, wait, is he not the therapist that was with Jonas in episode one? He has red soil on his mats? Well, bro, what is going on? I feel like he could have done this without going to her class and sitting behind her, right? Did he want her to know that he's following her? Because otherwise, why is he hiding? Who's this? It's not Jurgen. Charlotte Doppler. Because how did she get here? I have an Astra in the Gedächtnis for Schwanz. No, he was not here for a year. So his wife knew about this person that her husband used to see to get his rocks off. I did not see that part of his character being revealed. Smashing pumpkin song? Okay, you're not even like hiding it. You're like just so closely following her behind. She's clearly, she knows, right? She has to know. The red cord? Is it the same type of cord where the, the coin? That's not her. Wow, she looks so different. Because his car's license plate was seen on camera around the same area where Nickel was went missing and where the red soil was found on the body and she traced it here so what is this place there's ja reden hier von Spannung im Radiowellenbereich eher Elektrogeräte und die weiße Maserung am Gefieder diese weißen Flecken Nach Tschernobyl sind sie vermehrt aufgetreten, eine Form von Mutation. Oh, I hope nothing happens to her. But she's not gonna get picked up. Oh, okay, now I'm stressed. What the hell? We've seen that in the opening credits. Okay, hast du so viel Geld? Verdeckst du drum? It's not your business. Hast du deshalb oben bei den Jungen? Vielleicht fängst du mal damit an, die Wahrheit zu sagen. Du willst die Wahrheit? Okay. Meine Eltern schlafen seit einem Jahr in getrennten Betten. Meine Mutter hat rausgefunden, dass mein Vater in Wirklichkeit auf Schwänze steht. Die Ehe ist kaputt go. und niemand spricht es aus, dass man nicht mehr atmen kann. Jesus. We saw this coming, right? 
I low-key kind of like this pairing. Okay. I think I do it right here. No. Aren't your classmates in the other room? Okay. Ich muss ab. This sucks. Nothing better happened to her. I'm gonna be really upset. She did take the lipstick. Jesus. <gasps> Wait a minute. What they said last episode. It takes something with the, with the red lipstick, right? Hope she didn't just mark herself. The last time he went out, something happened. Oh, she's walking by herself. Raider. That's what Ulrich's mom said. She said she, she found by the caves. It was Mad's favorite candy bar or something, right? Okay, things are really picking up really fast right now. She's got. No, why would she. Ulrich? It's Ulrich, isn't it? He trespassed. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you only feel that way when you feel guilty about something. It's her husband saying that Elizabeth is gone or Ellie is gone. She's not gonna. I know Mama is stressed with all the disappearing kids and all, but she really should have been paying attention to her own. I'm pissed. That better not be it. Okay, good. I don't want to sound cliche right now, but is the disappearance of their daughter gonna rekindle their relationship, kind of fix their marriage as they both search for her? I feel like that's the direction they're going. What's Francesca gonna say about this? I need to see her reaction. Oh my god, this is not gonna be good. Uh oh. Ich muss es ihm sagen. Who? Wait. Wo warst du denn? I'm relieved, but. Who? Will wissen, wer dir das geschenkt hat. Noah? Wer ist Noah? Oh, sisters. She gonna, is she gonna say, I took your lipstick? China, ah. Finger weg von meinen Sachen. Back to normal. For Charlotte. Wir sind auf der Suche nach dem Ariadne Faden, der uns den richtigen Weg weisen soll. Wie gerne würden wir unser Schicksal kennen, wohin es uns führt. Die Wahrheit ist es. Gibt nur einen Weg durch alle One path Zeiten. through all times. Er muss aufhören. Er muss ihn stoppen. Who? No, not her little friend. Yasin, right? Don't be distracted. Be aware of your surroundings, please. Jeez, that scares me. Ah, oh, Jesus. Wow, what an episode. So that was season one, episode four of Dark Cult Devil Lives. Crazy stuff is happening right now. Um, I they're, they've, they're introducing so much. There's like so many layers to these characters. Like with Charlotte's husband, Peter, no way in the world would I have ever guessed it. Like you can kind of guess that he was kind of a weak-willed type of um, individual in the first episode. He was very kind of um, submissive to his wives. It's like, okay, there's something a little off about that. And they kind of reveal in this episode that um, he is gay, I believe. Like, he has, he plays for the other team. Um, 
their their relationship in, between him and his wife are just kind of it's it's strained, it's it's torn, it's ruptured, it's broken. Francesca said that that her parents sleep in different beds, and it was only until that um, that her sister Elizabeth Ellie went missing did they really kind of come together at the end. I kind of wish they kind of um, stressed that out a little bit to kind of make that reunion at the end feel a little bit more special. But you know, it, it's it is what it is. Maybe, maybe it's uh, not what it seems. Maybe it's just a small victory for now because now um, Yasin is on the line because he just met with the hooded individual who is is the hooded individual who they were who they list as the stranger in the end credits. Is he the stranger? Because I don't want to just call him the hooded man put it individual if he's a stranger i'll refer to that character as that um but either way they introduced a new character named noah who we did not see in hell something like that charlotte's father who's in the the uh, uh, senior assisted living home kept repeating it's gonna happen again it's gonna happen again but now he has to stop him he kept repeating that and him has been revealed to be Noah, and Noah also kind of came across Elizabeth when she was walking home, which completely stressed me out because I hate when kids like that, like when they're super vulnerable, the kids are already vulnerable as it is, but the fact that she has a disability, I kind of like, immediately I connected with her, I was like hoping that she like is okay, but when they kind of set up the story where... She was waiting for her mom to pick her up, but her mom was off investigating her father. And I'm just like, oh my god, something's gonna happen. I'm always getting stressed out. And now they kind of turn the tables because they kind of led you to believe Elizabeth was in danger. But now it's actually Yasin, someone who she deeply cares for, who I am now pretty upset about. Even though I was kind of rooting for Elizabeth's safety, I kind of let my guard down in regards to Yasin. But... Things are moving ahead. I'm kind of glad that um, we, we got more answers, even if it's just pieces by pieces. I'm just incredibly interested in how the story develops. We're not quite at the halfway point yet. There's still six episodes left in the season, and I'm trying to piece together how this is all going to come together. So with that being said, I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't want to call too many things or kind of get myself twisted up in the story by like um, suggesting or even inferring that what if this happened or who's that. I don't want to get things mixed up. So I'm just going to leave it there. And once again, thank you guys for being very um, um, informative in the comments. I do read the comments. I want to continue reading the comments and engage with the fans. And in order to do that, I just need to guarantee that there will be no spoilers. I'm glad you guys also told me about that site that kind of generates in, um, story information based on what's served on, which I think is completely awesome. That is incredible. I'm still kind of weary about checking it out, no offense, because I kind of like going into these episodes blind. Maybe at the end of the first season I might check it out, because I feel like there might be a, a, like a stopping point there and then have a fresh starting point for season two since it's a natural break in the story so i might do that but before i do check that side out i i, I do want to finish the first season i want to kind of resonate with my thoughts i kind of want to just uh take in the story and kind of maybe do a predictions video on where i think the story is going to go 